Hello, my name is Christoph Feichtenhofer. I'm a research scientist at Facebook AI Research, and the work I'm presenting is called X3D Expanding Architectures for Efficient Video Recognition. This work is focusing on human action classification and detection in video. Here, the goal is to detect all actions that people are performing in the scene. This image is a sample from the AVA dataset with the ground truth actions shown at the bottom. For example, the person on the left is standing, carries an object, talks to a person, and also watches a person while doing so. Note that many of these actions are not able to be recognized from a single image. For example, predicting if the person on the left is talking or the person on the right would sit down. Only a method that uses 3D spatiotemporal information could solve that problem. This makes this task particularly interesting and challenging. On the top of the people, you can see the predictions of the model that will be described in this talk. For 2D tasks, such as image or object recognition, it is common to apply layers of 2D filters to input images, which results in feature tensors of size H times W times C for the height, width, and the number of channels of the features. For video recognition, an intuitive way is to convolve an input video clip with 3D spatiotemporal filters. This is typically done by extending an image-based network by a third dimension. Basically, nearly all video classification backbones are temporal extensions of ImageNet design. Therefore, the H times W times C dimensions are fixed based on the ImageNet design. Our claim in this work is that direct temporal expansion is suboptimal for efficient video recognition. Our architecture called X3D, which is expanded across multiple axes for good computation and accuracy trade-off, is progressively expanded from a tiny base 2D image architecture into a spatiotemporal one by expanding across these multiple possible axes. The candidate axes are frame rate, temporal duration, spatial resolution, the depth of the network, the width of the network, and the bottleneck width of the model. Our expansion progressively increases the computation, for example, by 2x in each step by only expanding one axis at a time. Train and validate the resultant model and select the axis that achieves the best computation accuracy trade-off. So the process is repeated until the architecture reaches a desired computational budget. We start with X2D, a tiny image-based model, and expand it. Our progressive expansion starts by expanding first the bottleneck width of the model, then the frame rate, the spatial resolution, duration, depth of the network, and finally also the global width of the layers. The output of our expansion are a sequence of models from extra small to extra large capacity as we exponentially increase the model complexity. The plot shows vertically the classification accuracy and horizontally the model capacity in floating point operations. Only the last step, interestingly, increases the width of the model, which shows that the channel dimension can be very small for video recognition, which was also key for the fast pathway design in the slow fast models, which are state of the art uh, architectures. When comparing to the state of the art, the graph here shows slow fast models in green and channel separated networks in pink and temporal shift module in gray. The number of clips that are used for the testing is shown in the individual points. Comparing to these works, we see that the floating point operations can be dramatically reduced with the X3D architecture with reductions of up to 10x for large and small models. Concretely, when comparing to state-of-the-art channel-separated networks and slow-fast numbers on the kinetics dataset, X3D can provide a 5x reduction in flops and parameters at the same accuracy. The paper has further experiments for charades, long-term activity recognition, and also for the AVA action detection task, where the same observations hold. Thank you.